Look out, here she comes The woman that I love Hi everyone, and so for the first recipe, we are making a low country boil. And for this recipe, you will need some shrimp, corn, crab legs, potatoes, boiled eggs, garlic and onion, some lemons, pretty much anything that you want to put into this boil. And so right now I'm just adding in the potatoes, lemon and onion, as well as my old bay seasoning. And I'm going to bring that into a boil. Once that reaches a boil, I'm going to be adding the corn in. And then after that, I decided to make some crescent rolls to serve it on the side. Once the corn reaches a boil, I'm going to add in the shrimp and the crab legs and those just need steamed since they are already cooked. Make sure you do not overcook them. And there you have it, the easiest and most delicious fancy meal. And for the next recipe, we are moving on to this beef stroganoff in the Instant Pot. And really for all of this, you're going to just need some ground beef, some onion soup mix, and first you're just going to ground your beef. You're going to add in your onion soup mix, you're going to add in your beef broth and your egg noodles, and on top of that, you're going to add in cream of mushroom. And do not stir this in. Set the Instant Pot for about seven minutes and let it pressure cook. At the end, add a cup of Greek yogurt or sour cream. And this dish is so amazing and so simple. And um, the recipes and the ingredients for this will be in my description box if you need the exact measurements. It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy So for this next recipe, we are making beef tips in a crock pot This is so easy and so delicious So all you're gonna need is brown gravy, onion mix, some beef tips, tips some mushrooms, some beef stock and cream of mushroom and this looks like a uh, roast but it's really beef tips and so once you get that in there all you're going to do is season all of your meat dump your mushrooms your seasonings your um, soup mix and your cream of mushroom into this crock pot i cooked mine for about eight hours on low you can also do about four to five hours on high and if you hear my daughter in the background <laughs> that's because she's nine months old and she loves to chat when i'm chatting but like I said, I added everything into the crock pot. I mixed it all in on top. Then I set it for four out, eight hours on low. And to serve this, I just paired it with mashed potatoes, corn, and some crescent rolls. And this was so delicious. I love putting it over my mashed potatoes and dipping in the hot rolls. For this last recipe, we are making cracked chicken soup. This stuff is so amazing. And for this recipe, you're going to need some ranch mix, celery, cream cheese, carrots, chicken stock, cream of chicken, half and half, cheddar cheese, an onion, and a thing of spaghetti. And I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping all of my ingredients up. And while I'm chopping that up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken started. That way my chicken will be done and I'll have the flavors from the chicken cooking. After my chicken is done, I'm going to go ahead and brown my vegetables. Once that is done, I'll add some garlic and add in the chicken broth as well as the cream cheese, cream of chicken. I'll add in some cheddar. 
cheddar cheese, the rest of the chicken chopped up and cooked, and then I'm gonna add in the spaghetti noodles and that will cook for about 20 minutes. I actually had to transfer it to a bigger pot because it did not all fit in here, but this stuff was so amazing. I'm editing this video right now and I just want, I just want a cup of it right now I'm editing. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like this style of video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! I can't